Now this may seem like a waste of water, but some pool businesses are still doing their part to help conserve this precious resource. Be careful sharing your whereabouts on social media. And with one simple click, people can tell that you and your family are on vacation, which makes your house and belongings vulnerable. Wearing this seatbelt can mean the difference between life or death, especially when you don't know what kind of condition the other driver's in. Here at TLCA, take Mary Lee for example. She took the ultimate step in high school to secure her $4,000 to use here at ASU. These boys make up some of the best players in Indianapolis, and it all started right here at Zion Hill Baptist Church. Many are blind to the fact that child abuse actually happens, and these 483 pinwheels in the courthouse yard represents each confirmed case in Tom Green County. And there are about 16 black dogs in the Tom Green County Animal Shelter alone, and dogs can't see color, so why should we? Now construction workers are currently working to add 12 more tanks, like the ones behind me, to treat the water that is transported from the Hickory Well to this water treatment plant. It was the state's deadliest Memorial Day weekend. We do encourage people to come out here and have a good time. Um, we enjoy seeing that. We're just out here to make sure everybody is able to have a good time and nobody's out here to spoil it for someone by, uh, you know, nobody wants to work a drowning. Uh, no one wants to work a boat accident. Cindy Aguilar, a game warden for Texas Parks and Wildlife, has had experience with these cases and says safety concern is even higher with the recent rainfall. Submerged logs are a big problem right now. We've even seen parts of people's docks, large floats of plants that have come up uh, from the bottom of the lake. There's a lot of debris beneath the surface you probably can't see. SAPD and the game wardens work hand in hand with Lake Nasworthy patrols. Much of their attention is focused on BWIs. Many of the people that we find in uh, dangerous situations or that end up dying, a uh, good proportion of those are due to intoxication. Uh, they exercise poor judgment, getting themselves in situations that they shouldn't be in in the first place. With the debris out here especially and mixing alcohol with that could probably be a, a bad combination this weekend. The lake being full is the talk of the town, but with the abundant amount of speed bumps in the lake, Cindy has a suggestion. We caution people to maybe drive slower, watch your speed, and uh, maybe do a slow run to see where the debris is, and be careful, especially if you're towing others. At Lake Nasworthy, Stephanie Johnson, KIDY, Fox News First. Poles equipped with shrimp were on standby as the Texas Parks and Wildlife trailer backed down the ramp of the Concho River. 600 catfish flaps around after they were freed. They dug it today. They dropped them today, right? Okay yeah. Four-year-old Philip Michael Burks spent the day with his eight-year-old sister, Danae Burks, and their mom. See how fun you have and have time with your family. While Danae enjoyed high-fiving and just being in their company, Philip had his eye on the prize. I didn't touch a catfish. You're going to catch a catfish? Yeah. Willie Gonzalez says he too enjoys fishing, but loves seeing when parents get their kids hooked on a positive hobby. Keep them off the street. It's all up to the family to grow the kid the way it's supposed to be. The Burks spend almost every weekend on the river. It's better when you're outside, said, and being inside and don't get to learn anything. Again, Danae has taken away the bigger lesson in it all, while Philip. We did him today. Well, what he really meant was. We yeah. saved him to eat. We saved him to eat. And he's not the only one. I clean him and eat the heck out of him. But some are more about the catch and release. A lot of people come down here, bring their kids down here, spend time with them. But like me, I'm a cancer patient, and I, I come out here when I, feel, when I feel like it. Johnny Hernandez thinks the Texas Parks and Wildlife is doing an amazing job reeling kids in with their neighborhood fishing program. But for Danae and Phillip, they're not there yet, but they will eventually learn what effect it casts on their future. In San Angelo, Stephanie Johnson, KIDY, Fox News First. 470 was the last recorded total inmates behind bars at the Tom Green County Jail, but only 449 beds stand. The only option we have is to house prisoners in other county jails scattered around in our area. Tom Green County pays Howard, Taylor, and Reynolds County to house those inmates. One thing is for sure. The, the police officers are doing a wonderful job arresting the bad guys. It's how do we keep the bad guys in jail. That's what Judge Floyd met with around 60 personnel who have a relation with the criminal justice system last week to discuss. He says something has got to give. That those people that need to be in jail are in jail, 
but the people that really that we're just mad at are released with a different punishment. And there is a dark side to that. Look here, these are two examples of people who are repeat offenders. We arrest somebody for a felony, we put them in jail, and then they're bonding out in three or four days. Their crimes take up one web sheet or two. Judge Floyd said it's a judgment call that has to be made depending on each circumstance. My family is out there as among as yours and everyone else's, so it's, uh, it's something we're very cognizant of. The biggest step to keeping these criminals behind bars is the citizens opening their wallets and paying higher taxes. Any direction that they go in order to fix the over overpopulation is probably going to cost money. Whether it's through a night court, adding another judge. The average price per bed is about $40. There will be negatives and positives to any growing city. More people equals more crime. Just like more, more vehicles on the road equals more accidents. If it means your safety, Chief Vasquez says the extra fee will be well worth it. So are you ready to handle the cost of keeping these people in jail? My vote is yes. In San Angelo, Stephanie Johnson, KIDY, Fox News First.